The University of Wisconsin Whitewater student enrollment has been on a steady incline over the past few years, but residence life is having a hard time keeping up. Currently, over 140 students reside in study lounges instead of the traditional dorm. Alan Hosley, Assistant Director of Residential Operation, gives us his take on the current situation. Um, the cause for insufficient housing is a couple of reasons. Um, one is obviously uh, this year we have Fricker Hall um, is, is, is offline. Uh, for renovations as we build the link between Fricker and Erie Hall, as well as the, the higher demand for returning students to stay on campus beyond their freshman and sophomore year. Wells West Complex Director Frank Hartfield talks about the increase of students living in the lounges. As this being my second year here at Whitewater, uh, this of course increased tremendously because last year we didn't have any students in lounges. Um, however, what I've been told, this is the most students we had in lounges. Uh, according to how many upperclassmen wants to stay in the res halls this year. With over 2,000 upper-class students living on campus, study spaces can be limited. RA Brooke Flesher talks about alternatives. We have study spaces available that are completely silent. Um, the dorms offer a lot of opportunities for that, as well as there's a few lounges that do not have residents in them, so people can study in there too. Junior and campus resident Mia Metcalf reflects on her experiences on living in a campus lounge. I've been living on campus for three years now, and my very first year here, I was placed in a lounge in Fisher. I didn't like it too much because I lived in there with three other people. It seemed too crowded, and I didn't have a lot of privacy at all. Construction is currently underway to help with this growing issue. A new 400-person dorm is expected to be completed by 2018. This should help with the growing demand for on-campus housing and allow study lounges to be used for their original purpose. For UWW-TV, this is Marshall E.D. reporting.